Hey guys, today every company wants to build their own AI driven personalization engines. Um, this is basically, you know, to enhance their uh, uh, customer experience, uh, drive more traffic and um, get more leads and revenue, basically to make more profit, right? So today in this video, we are going to see how to build such AI driven personalization engines or recommendation systems uh, using single store as a data platform and shape.ai. Uh, I'm going to show you what shape.ai does and how it helps to build AI driven personalization engines. Uh, but let me let me tell you what are these AI driven personalization engines, right? So whenever you go to any uh, e-commerce website or any uh, video streaming uh, platform like Netflix or Amazon Prime, uh, you might have seen um, uh, these platforms start recommending you uh, the type of things or TV shows or movies you might be interested in. You might have watched um, Pursuit of Happiness and uh, when you go back again tomorrow, uh, it starts, uh, the, the system starts recommending similar type of movies to you. So the same thing goes to the e-commerce website. Whenever you go to amazon.com, you if you have purchased uh, black shoes from the brands like Puma or Nike last time, and if you go back again, uh, the system starts recommending similar type of uh, brands, or shoes, or anything related to that item you've bought recently. So this uh, these type of personalization uh, of recommending similar type of items is uh, all driven by like, you know, uh, such personalization engines. Uh, so today uh, we are gonna see uh, how to build such AI driven uh, personalization engines or recommendation engines. Um, so it all starts from data collection, user profiling, pattern analysis, and then uh, recommendations. But if you actually start hard coding all these things, it's going to take a lot of effort and it's very frustrating. So we have amazing tools like single store and shaped.ai, which make this uh, thing really easy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically build AI driven personalization engines in a step by step flow. So don't skip the video. Let's let's get started with the coding part. Thanks. Hey guys, so let's talk about the two important platforms that we are using today uh, in this tutorial. So one is uh, the single store. Uh, it's basically the only database uh, you will ever need. Uh, you can scale from one to one million customers. Uh, handling SQL, JSON, full text, and vector workloads. Um, basically, it's an all-in-one unified platform, a data platform to for all your uh, data workloads. So uh, this is basically, uh, that's it about the single store. We're going to use single store as our data platform to uh, basically store all the data. And then the next one is the shaped.ai. If you go to shaped.ai and then go to, um, uh, sorry, go to docs uh, and you can say what is uh, shape.ai shaped. Uh, it's a platform for recommendations, search and discovery. We help your users find what they're looking for uh, by surfacing the products or content that are most relevant to them. So um, that's it about the shape.ai. Sign up to uh, both of them, uh, go to singlestore.com um uh, start for free uh, single store has a free share tier and the same goes with shape.ai uh, go to shape.ai sign up and uh, yeah uh, let's let's um, get started with the tutorial so once you sign up to singlestore.com and then you, if you sign in this is where you will land uh, you can see deployments here and uh, create your own workspace I think by default, you will have your workspace ready. If you don't have one, create one just by clicking create workspace. And under your workspace, uh, you will have the ability to create a database, create your database just by clicking create a database, give it a name. So I have my database uh, ready. That is, um, uh, I have created a PowDB as my database. So create a database under your workspace. And uh, similar thing goes to, <clears throat> shape.ai go to shape.ai uh, and then go to the api keys basically um, 
create an API key if you don't have one and uh, uh, you need to get this read and write API key. So make sure you create one and store them uh, properly. So once you create both uh, accounts on singlestore.com and shape.ai, uh, the next thing is let's go to the <clears throat> uh data studio on singlestore.com and create a new notebook so we're gonna uh, do a step-by-step -step workflow um, uh, and uh, run all over the all our code uh, using notebook so single store has a feature called notebook just like your google collab or um, any other notebook so uh, go to uh, go to data studio create a new notebook give it a name and then once you create a new notebook this is where basically you will land and uh, here is a complete uh, complete uh, notebook code present i'm gonna show you how to basically uh, you know build and deploy ai driven personalization engines uh, the the uh, whole code I'm going to share in the description so that you can go and basically try build your own personalization engine. So yeah, even the code is also present here. I'm going to share this uh, GitHub link, right? So let's get back to our uh, notebook code. So first things first, uh, add the shape.ai API key. Uh, once you sign up to shape.ai, go to api section get your uh, read and write uh, read and write key uh, and then mention it here uh, okay uh, replace your api key here this is mine don't use this because i'm going to delete this and after that install shaped to leverage the uh, shaped cli to create view and use your model uh, install pandas to view and edit the sample data set uh, install uh, PYML uh, to create shaped uh, data set and model schema files. So you need all these three. So install these three shaped pandas and PYML. Uh, that's what we are doing. Uh, and then let's initialize the CLI with your API key. Uh, we have already mentioned the API key. We are uh, in initializing that. And then let's download the publicly available data set. So we need a data set, right? For the recommendation thing, right? So we are basically using movie data set here. So we are first downloading the movie lens data set, which is publicly available data set. And then um, uh, we are basically uh, doing some arrangement with the data so that it looks uh, really good. Uh, and then, yeah, you will get basically user ID, movie ID, rating and timestamp. And one more thing I, I just uh, did not tell you that basically make sure once you create your notebook, make sure you are uh, selecting your workspace and the uh, related database uh, that you created, right? PowDB is what I created. This is my database and this is the workspace that I have, PowAppy workspace. So make sure you select both of them. Uh, I did not tell that in the beginning. So after after downloading the publicly available data set, you can use uh, Amazon data set or any other data set that you have, but here I'm downloading the movie lens data set. So after that, uh, this is how it looks. Uh, and then yeah, movie ID, title, release date and all that, IMDB rating and all that. So next step is to upload the data to single store. Okay, single store is the data platform that we are using. You can use single store as your vector database also, by the way. So uh, Shaped has support for many data connectors. For this tutorial, we are going to use uh, the, we are going to be using native Shaped data sets. So to do that, we need to create a .yaml file um, to connect Shaped to single store. So that's what we are doing here, okay? So you can find this in their shape.ai uh, docs also. So that's what we are doing um, here. The movie, uh, the, the data set name, um, and we are basically connecting the, um, uh, uploading the data to a single store database, uh, right? So after that, um, what we are doing is, um, we are basically uh, doing the model creation uh, uh, we are now ready to create your um, create your shaped model. 
to keep things simple today uh, we are using the ratings record to build a collaborative filtering model and uh, to do that create a .ml file again containing the model schema definition and uh, use ship shaped CLI to create the model. So we are um, doing exactly the same here. Okay, uh, creating a .yaml file um, and basically we are connecting all that. So this is how it basically looks, right? To and uh, once now everything is ready. Um, the same thing is um, here. I'm going to share this um, GitHub repo. Once this is ready, you can go to your shape.ai and then you can see the session already um, getting started, right? If you you can see since we are we have used the movie uh, data set. Uh, for example, if I click uh, Goodwill Hunting, it will recommend the similar type of uh, uh, movies to me with all the <clears throat> release year, genre, movie title, uh, item ID, uh, and all that. So uh, I can also see the uh, if, if you, you can click any other movie uh, and then it will show you the uh, similar type of the recommendation, um, just like a recommendation engine. So yeah, I mean, uh, you can go to metrics. So you will see how the metrics is working, the uh, event count today, and uh, how active uh, your users are, uh, and monthly active user count. And uh, you can see much more. And you, you can click on overview and uh, data sample from events. You can basically do a lot more uh, analysis here, right? So yeah, I mean. <clears throat> that's how you can basically create uh, the personalized AI driven recommendation engines. And if you go to your database, uh, let's go to our database to see how the data has been stored. Um, I think the uh, what I used was. Let me go to data studio. Yeah. How DB was my database. Let's go to the databases. Let's go to PowDB, as you can see, events, and then the sample data. So that's how the data has been uh, stored in our database. User ID, uh, movie ID, rating, and timestamp. So that's how you can basically create and uh, basically um, uh, work with your personalized uh, AI driven personalization engines. So I'm going to share the link and whole walkthrough in the in the uh, description so that you can uh, go and try yourself. Okay, thanks.